Welcome to the Project Watch. This is Sir P. Now today, I will talk about the infamous Shirley Playfair murder case. Shirley Playfair was a lawyer. Well known. There is an article in the Observer where they talk about her killing. And it starts off like this, I quote. She was the chairman of the Fair Trade Commission, or the Fair Trading Commission. Pretty, popular, and one of the iridescent jewels in the crown of the legal profession in Jamaica, end quote. You don't get a better intro than that. Iridescent jewels in the crown. One of the iridescent jewels in the crown of the legal profession in Jamaica. Surely play fear. Stop at top. Highly rated. She was murdered. Murdered in 2000. She was murdered. Long time cases in case I wonder. So from the early 2000s. But the case, in general, was extraordinary for a number of reasons. May I go through it, may I break it down for you, may I even tell you how I go on, may I give you the court documents. You see, over the years we've seen cases of literal babies being butchered. We've seen all kinds of murders, atrocities committed. Binary man. And whenever the legal fraternity turns up and people say why the liar they good still coffee defend that this money they ain't good still the response is the justice system is clear doesn't matter who you are you should get legal representation no matter what the crime so the law works and I tell people all the time, we know how the law works. And I agree, everybody must get some representation. Right? And go in a court. We tell them I go in a court. I agree. But let's not act like the reason why lawyers take up certain cases and defend certain people because of their never ending quest for justice is because, let's just be honest, the money you reach your account. That's my only problem with lawyers. You know? Just say it's business, bro. You know damn well you don't care about no or everybody because the Shirley play for your case blow that narrative out the water. You see, when Shirley play for your dead because of her standing and her ratings in the legal community, as the article said, one of the iridescent jewels in the crown of the legal profession in Jamaica. Did you know that some of the defendants, on multiple occasions by the way, had to turn up to court with no lawyer? Not even legal aid lawyers wanted to defend them. Some lawyers refused the case out of morality. They just can't defend somebody who would do something like that. Will and come again, Selector? So when time man chop off pitting head do all kind of things, butcher this and butcher that, them say it don't matter when though. Right. I defend that. I defend him because that's what the law say. But with Shirley pay for a case, lawyers turn down case, turn down money. Not defending a scoundrel like that. Or will really the scoundrels kind of people involved. I tell them about it. All that woman involved. Not just the fact that lawyers refused the case made it extraordinary. And the few lawyers who, who did end up start taking up their case became very unpopular. Lawyers are pre lawyer can I take the Shirley pay for a case? How dare you? You're disgusting. Remember, lawyers are not disgusting when they take on cases. People who butcher right, the child children. Chop off this head, chop off that head. Them say, well, I'm just doing my job. So why only never just do the job and defend the people them who were accused of killing? Should they play fear? Remember, justice is blind. Unicorn mean rules only apply to peasants. 
we see that when the law of fraternity lose one of their own, the very things they warn people against, you know, emotionalism, you know, you know, knee-jerk reactions, monstrous punishments, draconian, these are the terms I love using. Right? When it happened to one of them, that's exactly what they become. Monsters. Because as I said recently, I hear them say, ban people around and bite back. Man a pull drive by in a car all along. Man not nah say ban car. Ban people up. All of the taxi man them with the West Milan and them place to be, where car people go in a stone way, 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 way place around the back of some place. Where bike alone can go. All them must stop it. People who are carrying them bridging, two men work on that side and they bridging them on the back. You must stop it. Right? Or you got a jail. Them say don't fill up jail with 87 scars. Jail full already. But fill it up a bike, people. Fill it up a fat and blacker. Where ride go work, these are ridiculous suggestions. But they don't care because one of their owns lost their lives. Lawyers refusing to take a case. I'm going to go through it. I'm going to go through it. Court documents may give you to you know. You know, it's a regular way make up things to get views and bad men scammer than people. Bad men are a liar too. This time I give you know. The court documents. This case is extraordinary. I tell them so go read it from start to finish, but I must say only that the reading thing. I must say entertainment of only thing. The whole time I read it when time I want to read up or go on with the artist and what they call the girl man and let alone the read up man. Extraordinary case. Murder. Most foul. We've literally seen birds somewhere stand up and ring off your neck. Like pigeon pan wall. <coughs> so ring off your neck a different Tesha. Like the deposit hit. Tesha me like now, Dan. Tesha me. It's too much strong, you know. So, make we get into the case, now. Make we get into the case. And again, let me repeat, I want you to look on your screen so you see it for yourself, in case you weren't there, you don't remember. Lawyers refused. Right. The defendants had to go to court right. without lawyers right. at one point because no lawyer not take the case. Even the legal aid lawyer them said they don't want it. Remember the black man case, the, the Kansman trial, we just done. It was legal aid lawyers, them defend Klansman, but they would not defend the people them were killed, surely play for you. They will defend Klansman, but not the people them were kill one of their beloved lawyers, their beloved colleagues. All that justice is blind and everybody in tight representation went through the window and the lawyers who did take the case start get pre by other lawyers. Just the one yeah, that's soaking on air before we start going on this. Here goes the case. The murder took place in April 2000. Shirley played for his actually on the phone talking to another lawyer. I already come out in a court. He was talking to another lawyer. My name Peter. When it may when she said, oh, "What is now?" or "What is this now?" Then he heard, as one would imagine, the horrific sounds of Shirley Playfair struggling and making some sounds where, well, you already know. Is not something pleasant happening. The sound in that ear was Shirley Playfair getting her throat cut. When them did the autopsy, they realized that she had nine incised wounds, one which severed her larynx, two of the wounds were on her index finger and knuckle, two were on the cheek, five were on the neck. So as you can imagine, somebody tried to cut your throat. So you try to use your hands to stop the knife and all kind of things. That's why all our finger them get cut up. 
gruesome, gruesome murder. I'm going to say severed her larynx. In case you don't know what the larynx is, that's what people often refer to as the voice box. Gruesome murder. The defendants were Annette Livingston, who was working for Shirley Playfair at the time. We are going to hear how fear a case extraordinary and all of this. Roman Drysdale, Duane Williams, who were the actual two men them were killed Shirley Playfair, and a man by the name of Ashley Ricketts, who was a taxi driver. And he you know, get caught tonight. I'm going to tell you no how. The prosecution, the law fraternity in general, were not as interested in a Roman Dries deal and Williams. Them did want to know and them did want to sink everybody involved. That's so on it. Livingston dropping night. And that's so even the taxi man. Are you ready for the case? Court documents read The applicants were convicted at the Home Circuit Court on the 10th day of April 2003 for the murder of Shirley Playfair on the 13th of April 2000, so almost exactly three years after. Each was sentenced to life imprisonment. Listen to this part. However, the judge specified that each should not be eligible for parole until 60 years had passed in the case of Annette Livingston, 55 years for Raman, who is one of the killer them, and 45 years right, in the case of Ashley Ricky. Remember, Ashley Ricky was the taxi man. So he was basically theme charge now all of this was he was the getaway driver. When in the history of history have you seen the getaway driver get 45 years before parole? How often do you see the getaway driver? Right. And by the way, I go hear one team on the road. Because they were so eager to sink people last. I know for them, some of these convictions got overturned. Right, but I go hear about that. And by the way, we say overturned because sometimes people bust cases and appeal and all kind of things. And then they really do it and they really apartheid. But the burden of proof never met fully and all them things that case get thrown. So I'm not going to go as far as to say quote unquote innocent. Right, but some of these were overturned. Let's make one know. That's the next thing. When they were overturned, people said, well, even though the appeal court turned it over, she's still guilty, and I'm still guilty. I just threw this and just threw that. Because I surely pay for it. Now my limbs see my client case was thrown out by the appeal court, so that means innocent. That never applied to surely pay for it. Accused. Once again, I must stress the getaway driver. He got 45 years before parole. Williams dead because of Raman and Williams actually cut her throat. The relevant facts are as follows. On the 13th of April 2000 at about 12 noon, the witness was in the reception area of Shirley Playfair's office at Seymour Park, Old Oak Road. The witness saw two men enter the office and go directly to the applicant Livingston's desk. Remember, Livingston or Livingston is the woman right, who got 60 years. She got even more than the man who cut Shirley Bay for your throat. Right. So the killer them go to the applicant or go to Livingston's desk, Annette's desk. This is how she get dry night now. No. Right. Because they must say, based on the, the behavior of the killers and her behavior throughout this whole thing and before, 
she must have been a part of the conspiracy. After them left on his desk, they then went into Shirley Playfair's office. Seconds later, the witness said, right, she hear the deceased scream. This is also what the lawyer would have talked to Shirley Playfair would have hear. The struggle. Annette Livingston, who is a legal secretary, was standing at a photocopier. The witness got up and went to Shirley Playfair's office door. She saw the deceased sitting in her chair struggling with the two men on either side of her, that's Roman and Williams. With her hands protecting her neck, this is how her finger then get cut up. Make sure now listen good enough. Turn down the fire upon the stove, no matter make the food, when the rice and peas burn up. Now. The witness ran to the lunchroom where she saw other employees seated and the applicant, Annette Livingston, therein standing against the wall. Remember, no chaos are going on, no, sure the play for is getting killed. So the witness see what go on, run go now right, to the lunchroom. This is some people, including Annette. Another witness, who is also a legal secretary, who was also employed to show the play here, also saw the two men enter and go straight to Annette's desk. One of the men waved to the witness, who returned the wave. She then heard a scream. And saw the witness run towards the deceased office. So now the two of them, right, story is in line. The two witness them, I said the same thing. One say, she see, right, one says she see when the man come in, go to on it, then go in, then she denies them, she go look, she see what I go on. The next witness says she see when this person I go look what I go on. So two of them, I said the same thing up to this point. Another paralegal secretary also employed to Shirley play a few said she also heard the scream. The witness then heard a second scream. She then saw Annette Livingston standing at the lunchroom door with her hand on the doorknob and her back turned to the office. The witness passed right, Annette Livingston who was blocking her. In other words, while the murder got on, Annette Livingston Right, stand up at the door, I will up on the knob and I block people. Now you're starting to see how right, she get tied into the conspiracy. Because the witness them say, while the murder go down, everybody was in panic except an ex living son. And not only that, she was black people from go through door and all kind of things. And the man they already come in, come talk to her. And she knew one of the man. So now you start to see how right, they must have a shape of the conspiracy. The witness, this witness says, she see, surely play a fear. She see, the man with the knife. Right. The man turn. The witness say, she ball out, Lord God. Right. That's a direct quote. Turn back and ran towards the lunchroom. She reached the bathroom beside the lunchroom and she felt someone grab the right side of her neck. She pitched forward and the hand let from her neck. She ran into an open office and bolted the door. So remind her she see what I go on and know the maroon are done like this money grab her but she get it from this money and lock up herself. She telephoned 119 the police. When the smoke clear the next time she see Shirley Playfair, it was Shirley Playfair's body on the floor of a doctor's office. In case you're wondering how Shirley Playfair did body reach in a doctor's office. She had enough strength after getting her throat cut because you know it's not like you'd be getting throat slash and just instantly shut down and dead. And she was putting up a hell of a fight it seemed. So Shirley Playfair run out of fear office and run to a nearby doctor office, obviously there is nothing a doctor in one doctor office ever can do right, for somebody whose throat right, is badly cut up. 
right? That means that even our larynx was severed. Then care her, right? Go UE hospital, but let me say it was too late. The damage was severe. So there were multiple witnesses all corroborating the story, right, of not just how the murder took place, but of the behavior of Annette Livingston right, during the whole ordeal. So the witnesses were able to identify Ramon Gisdale and Dwayne Williams. And remember earlier I tell you, so Williams never go court. Well, because he did escape police custody and then end up dead. This is a long time and things are like going on. Long time and things are like going on. As a matter of fact, Williams was killed right, one month after right, the conviction. So he may escape court, you know. He may escape going on trial, you know. And one month after the rest of them right, get convicted, in dead. Very interesting. So now, earlier I told you the taxi man who them said was the getaway driver. Right. He had 45 years. This was for him. Right. Story in a court. You see, the same taxi man, you know, called the police. And say, me never tell you everything. No, me I go tell you what really go on. So now when I'm second statement, tell him and give him, right? I say this is a real statement now. So the taxi man now say, him drive robot taxi. He mentioned say, him carry the man in the week before. He mentioned say, him know the man by a whole different name. I mean, I mean, Kevin, Narbert, Dougie, O'Neill. Right? Him say, him don't know. Them correct name, him just know all kind of street name and people call man. Him said the two man them come to him and tell him say the care them got see more park of all up road. Here's where things get spooky now. Him say him care man go up there. Right. So go meet with somebody called quote unquote C R. It's a female, she always I come to them. C R always I come to them. He stated, yes, yes, dear honor, she always come to them at the car and give them envelope with money in the air. Now things that get interesting. So this is not a random act of violence. The man who do the killing used to go up at the same office place, go pick up envelope with money from quote-unquote CR. We 87 had to open a lawyer office I do a pick up money in an envelope. Let me ask the question one more time. What 87s that do a lawyer office are pick up money with envelope? They should be dropping off money with envelope to pay for their case. Why are they picking up money with envelope? What was going on inside that office? Interesting. He describes CR as tall, right, black, broad face, or ear cream. Me see CR at Alpha Tree Police Station today, and me tell the police say. As she me always carry right, the man them to the lawyer office at Seymour Park and she give them envelope with money. Are you with me? CR key every time them get the money from CR me get thousand dollar to carry them. Me did ask Mark who is CR and him say I'm a girlfriend. Oh 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 oh. Kerosene alert. Kerosene alert. So, kerosene in a lawyer office. Him say, I'm a girlfriend. Goes on the state. My ask, say, who is CR? And him say, I'm my girl. So, I said to him, then you yeah, deal with them big woman there. And him say, yes. The taxi man surprised. The taxi man is stunned, just like how Carlton is stunned. Say, then quote unquote, big woman there, there with 87. In a big, big woman, CR, we have to go find out who is CR. We have to go find out who is CR. In same CR at the Avatry police station, CR isn't 
Shirley Playfield, because Shirley Playfield will be dead at this point. So let's go find out who is this CR. All right. All right. Me did ask Mark, who is CR? And him say, I'm my girl. And I said to him, then you yeah, give it them big woman there. That part, and if you get cut out, frame, and put up on a wall, me tell him to say, many of your favorite, well dressed, well spoken, you know, big title in an office, gunman in she hole. 87 in she hole. She like that. Sometimes me carry Tia, who is Mark's sister, with them go to Seymour Park to see her. And Tia go upstairs to see her. And Tia and see her come down where my party car says so a regular thing. Remember, you know, no taxi man, I tell him exactly what I go on now. No. Because before, I make it sound like I'm just some random taxi man, my first statement. No, I tell him what I go on. No. So, now you see the 87 them involving in it. No, I go on. I know the people them intimately. So, you see, sometimes CR come down and I talk to Mark and Shane, but I mostly Mark shares a talk to. When she come downstairs to Mark, she always give him an envelope with money. I didn't get fifteen thousand dollars all the time. Thursday, right, the thirteenth of April. Now it's the day when Shirley Payfield you dead. At the first time, me and Carrie, I mean, Kevin and Emin up to CR. So the name they might call out before. I must have a whole name call, you know. And just the man I'm gonna do the killing, you know. I hope you're not confused. Remember. Him say me, Mark, Shane, Emin, right? Amin, Kevin, Narber, Dougie, O'Neill. Right. Enough name him call, but a two actually do the killing. So Mark is the one that David CR who work in the lawyer office. Mark. Knowing say on the 13th, at the first time he might carry Amin, Kevin, and Emin right, up to CR. So now he must say on the 13th, right, he might carry Kevin and Amin up there first in the morning. So I don't want to get too hung up and up and name name them and street name them. Basically, the taxi man admits say, he know one bag of man, one of the 87 them, the David, one of the woman them in the lawyer office. Right. Then, and the day when time he kill Shirley P.F. here, right, him care two of the man name, the man he should do the killing that day up there. So don't get too hung up on the names them and the street names them. Listen to this part. The taxi man say here, Amin and Kevin attack say because of them. Listen to this. Me here, Amin and Kevin attack say because them are this way. For we forget our money off the works. That the big man give it to mash. Wow. Can I get a wow? Is Candy Wow in the building tonight? Can I get a wow? Amin and Kevin at talk say, they might this way, for we forget the money of the works that the big man give it to mash. The big man send 87, higher 87 to do a killing. Who are these them? Goes on to state. Amen asks Amin say, what the girl name up at Seymour Park that we must go to? And Amin say, CR, people are using this lawyer office to subcontract out murders. Do I need to spell this out? Many of your favorite lawyers one of the reasons why them love 87 so much is because bigger heads go through the lawyer because the lawyer knows sci-fi well and can make a bigger man know say yo if you want to kill somebody you know sci-fi me I'm crying for five years and me do it for you know the man give the lawyer the money the lawyer move the money over here so and then the money reach the 87 and the 87 go kill somebody on behalf of the quote unquote big man oh no no oh Iron Man really running you know? up them things that come out in a court and then skip past it. Certain jurisdictions, you either get a trial out of a trial. What is going on here? Amen asks Amin, say, what the girl name up at Seymour Park again? You must go to. 
I mean to CR, I must say CR a mark girl. Him say me drive in the Seymour Park, same place where me used to carry Mark, Shane and Tia. Reach up there about 8, 8.30, drive in through the gate, where the security guards stay. When I drive in, they always look on the license plate. When I go through the gate, I go up, turn right, in the two-long building with the lawyer and the doctor office there. Remember, lawyer there beside doctor. This is why I surely pay if you could run go in there. I park the car, look a bit top side of the office in our car park, and I turn my face back out to where my drive come in. When I park the car, I mean go upstairs to the lawyer office and Kevin stay in the car. I mean stay about five minutes, come back in the car and say CR said the lady not come yet. CR say the lady not come yet. The lady is surely play fear. So if you come back about 11 a.m. on the same day, she even tell them what time they will come back. CR. And it's not CR7. Taxi man state me drive away with them and drop them back. On the corner at Metcalf Road. Same place where the police them all with. Them tell me so they will come back to me in about half an hour. And when I go back up there with them. They will give me a money. They must have robot taxi money. You know, they basically use them like a charter taxi at this point. Then come back to me about 10 minutes to 11 and Amin and Emin come into the car this time. These are the actual killers now. Amin and Emin, who would be right, Ramon and Williams. Kevin never go back this time. Right, Kevin, he go earlier. At this time now, me hear Amin and Emin and say, A big man give it the works. And we have to get a big money off of it. And Emin asks Amin what the woman name that they must go check because I must say he never go before right see her a mark girl I mean tell Emin say the woman they must check is CR be a code name I use you know me drive up to the gate at Seymour Park about little bit after 11 o'clock about 5 minutes after 11 drive and turn in drive in and turn right and park this right beside the building where we can see when they go right up the stairs to the lawyer office. Amin and Emin come out the car. The two of them come out this time. I'm going to see them go upstairs and stay about five minutes. When they come back in the car, they say, Drive! When they come back from upstairs, the two of them blood up. Amin have a yellow cap. Cover the blood. Two of them did have a knife with blood on it. Now remember, it sounds like they were this gun too, so them go. Go carry out a quote unquote works and get this. We might know we still want to see how Shirley play fair dead enough because we, I'm trying to see the motive for how Shirley play fair lose fear of life. Mr. Lawyer, make sure so not true need. Make sure so when time we reach further on this article, I don't see anything that suggests that Shirley play fair's office or Shirley play fair was the one who quote unquote this them after sending them go mash works to big man. Because remember you said iridescent jewel in the legal profession. Make sure we know nothing like that. Keep on reading. Keep on reading. I told you it would be interesting. But even Hollywood can make this up. He goes on to state. Thursday the 13th. April 2000. That's the day Shirley play for you did. When we see CR at Seymour Park. She did have on her red blouse and red skirt. Me sure say as she I'm in Goto and as she me sure the police at half a tree today because me did see her more than one time. That is the kerosene who in a surely play for your office. After we leave Seymour Park the second time, me drive straight to Maxfield Road. So this is after them killer now. And after we leave Seymour Park the second time, we drive to Midcalf Road, turn upon Midcalf Road, police stop them. You already know I'm already with a party. I tell them to me have to stop because the police and soldier have gone. Emin jump out the car and run. Police fire shot in the deer and Emin stop. I mean, never run. Police ask me where I come from. I tell them to walk road. Police carry to Hunts Bay police station and from Hunts Bay come off a tree. Police take off Amin. And Emin, blood up shirt, 
taxi man statements. So you hear the taxi man keep referring to somebody named CR, who is a kerosene, working at the office. Pula put money in the envelope and I gave the 87 them. And who dare with one of the 87 them? And who facilitated quote unquote works getting mash for big man? Was Livingston CR? Let's keep reading. Maybe we will find out. Maybe we will find out. Surely they wouldn't just leave it there, so. But so far, you see, lawyer offices are subcontracting murders. People who work in lawyer offices are subcontracting hits. I'm still trying to find the motive for why Shirley Playfair was killed. Because now, when I first scratched them here, if the 87s were disgruntled, so them get this because they mash works and they get to them forget. Why would they kill Shirley Playfair if she had no knowledge of said hit and who forget what? What was the motive for killing Shirley Playfair? Because we never really heard a motive. They didn't dig for one. They just focused on the brutality. They didn't just run. Well, they didn't randomly just walk in. Oh, I'm gonna kill the lawyer woman. Why did they kill him? Williams and Drew's deal. They had them for a long time. But them claims that they, they did have, you know, alibi with them, they do over here, so and all kinds of unicorn meat. As for the taxi man, Ricketts, man, in the BS call, the NFL videos admit, say, man, he moved the money for a long time, and he tell them everything I want. His exact words in. I'm not going to jail for no one, end quote. He said he did not know the lady and he was not a party to the murder, but he did. Right. Carry the man in go there. Right. Believe in say, right, a normal, you know, drop off and pick up money car them did before. But then when the man him jumped back into the car, he did carry them away from the scene. But he never knew say them not going to kill her because he go the regular for pick up money. That was him arguing. Annette Livingston, she said on the day of the incident, right, she go up to the copier in her office and saw two men appear in front of her. One said hello, right, and in response said, Hi, I'm Annette. I was seen as one with you. She said she'd never seen the men before. She said she started you all kind of screaming, and then when the next witness them call out, Call the police, call the police. Right, Livingston, she should rush to the lunchroom. I don't think others to call the police. Listen to this. The prosecution had a witness that saw Dwayne Williams, one of the killer them, right, turn up at the lawyer office and speak to Livingston twice the week before Shirley Playfair was killed. This is what I hate about how cases right, get deal with an Iron Man. A witness is telling you about CR, CR, CR. May I dig through? I don't know if I've missed it. But I'm digging through to see if the prosecution asks the car man, the taxi man, is CR on it Livingston? Because CR work at the lawyer office. She's a kerosene. She dead one of the man them. She had care money come give them. Who she had care the money from? But work smash. The man is not happy. Smuddy got dead. Who died? Shirley Playfair. These are questions that should have been asked in court. Since the taxi man has said, they might get work to mash, murder for hire, the money has come out of the lawyer office, taxi man is CR and at Livingston. Them no kill the kerosene because the kerosene and no who for pay them. This case should have dig up better. World class investigators, this case should have dig up better. What was the motive for Shirley Pay for your dying? Was it bad man? Was it robbery? Did they take anything from Shirley Pay for his office? Somebody need to explain why the law offices of one of Jamaica's most iridescent jewels. 
in the legal profession was giving 87 money in an envelope on a regular basis. 87 was displeased one of the time them and I surely play fear and up dead. What they not do what more? It's cases shambolic like most cases. World class investigators my seed bag. Now you know why clansman cases and these cases get botched. They don't know how to put a puzzle together. They have no interest in putting the puzzle together. They heard testimony say, all right, a regular will go up there, we'll go pick up money. The man my 87, the man named David, one of the, you hear the man say, the taxi man asked him then, you David, them big woman there? The taxi man is surprised. Taxi man could say, you? Because most man thinks if you get to a woman, you need to be, quote unquote, well educated and well sophisticated. It's not true. 87 is a blow and of quote unquote big man back to smithereens. And evidently, all I get hits subcontracted out to them. Livingston attended an ID parade on the 19th of April in respect of the assailant Williams. She did not identify him. On the day, she accommodated the men at her desk in the office for one to two minutes. Meaning, say, chatting are gone. Can look on the man then good. The same woman who says she can identify Williams from the ID parade. Multiple statements confirm right, that they did not just walk in and say hi and walk past on it. Right, them stay there for minutes in a long talking, then they go and go kill. But Mr. This case is fascinating. Fascinating. So now what time for people get sentenced in a court or a decision get made? Then basically have Livingston and at Livingston and Ricketts right, under what they call common design. For those who are not aware, common design is when two or more persons agree, right, say they might go carry out a crime. This is what enough people sometimes refer to as conspiracy. Common design. Now, in a common design, five away plan to kill right, Miss Jane. Three away for shoot Miss Jane. But me, the either the planning now, but me just go around the corner and go look around the sand tell us, alright, she'll come around now and, and then alright, me go black the door so she'll she walk the way there and she walk the way the you kill her. Even though me never shoot her, me can still go to prison under common design. Williams and Drisdale fit them thing with that straightforward. Remember, Williams you know, got killed. So you never even got sentenced. Drisdale got sentenced. So with Williams and Drisdale, that's direct evidence. But when it comes down to Ricketts and Livingston, especially Livingston, it was circumstantial evidence the matter I used to prove the common design. A circumstantial evidence case is much harder to get a conviction on. So remember, initially, they were found guilty. William did end up get killed. He escaped from custody. They ended up dead a month after the convictions. This deal got 55 years before parole. Life. 55 years for parole. The taxi man who drive the getaway car, life 45 years before parole. And at Livingston, who them say, right, played a key role 60 years before parole. 60 years before parole, 55 years before parole, 45 years. Extraordinary sentences. Dash way. The last time we saw that was the youth. Who they killed the four pitting them and the mother. Remember that? After killing five people, four children, the DPP agrees that she got no longer seek the death penalty. But the judge now, having already right, agreed that they are no longer seek death penalty, which he wouldn't get anyway. The judge was now clear to sentence him as long as she won. The judge said 60, well, I think it was about 61 or 62 years. Four children. 
and the mother, 60 years. In Shirley Play Fair case, the judge, the Annette Livingston, 60 years before parole. That's how lawyers and judges in the run joke with one of them. One. 60 years, the getaway driver got 45 years before parole. You've never heard that. Your favorite artist get 30 years before parole. Or 30 something years. Taxi man got 45 years before parole. In the end, after them fight this and fight that, sentence end up getting all reduced. When them care go over appeal courts and over here, so them say, boy, them sentence here were excessive compared to what normally give out. Excessive. A other judge says so. Judge say, well, in a Jamaica, normally you go 30 years or 35 years before parole. 60 years, 45 years, 55 years. Lawyers never run joke with for them one. Judge never run joke with it. The judge turned into a monster. You're on a 60 years. I mean, I don't care. Don't get me wrong. I can give you 600 years. I don't care. But I'm just, I'm just saying, compared to what them normally give out, 45 years of being a getaway driver. Unprecedented numbers, them there. In the end, taxi man got his sentence or his charge dropped down to manslaughter for female role. Right, because I'm saying they end up start confess and tell me everything. Right. Williams was killed. This deal for prison. And at Livingston, sentence was overturned. When she carried go privy council, them said them simply don't see enough. Right, if you prove, say, she didn't know, say, the man them I go kill, surely play fear. Right. Never see enough. To make matters worse, as is often the case, when them start go through certain documents and certain part of the investigation the police and carry out, them start find or oh, them didn't make a mistake of a yaso, and them should have said this yaso, and that yaso, all them things they come back, come right the case. I am disappointed in this case. It's fascinating for a number of reasons. Not just because of who them kill. Right, the sentences that were initially handed out. But the statements of the taxi man give. They completely overlooked the fact that a regular, the man them go up there. One of the man them, my right, inner the crew, Mark, they with somebody in the lawyer office who is CR. CR carry money come give the man name regular. On one occasion, the man named Vex say them this them because them carry out a quote unquote works for the big man. And then I get what them forget. They might get money directly from a lawyer office. Sierra carried come give them. The man them vex them to get them money. And the man them go kill Shirley Playfair. They did not dig any further. Because if they had dig further, who knows what they would have uncovered. And the last thing the Jamaican people, or at least they would want the Jamaican people to hear, is that lawyers and lawyer offices are subcontracting out murders in Ariman? Which is something we know will happen all the time. We know this happened. Link any gang and they will tell you the lawyer boy, the lawyer woman, you have my name. They already know 87s intimately. They know 87s who are killed for free. They know 87s who are killed because man this them. You put it past them to say, hey, you know, say, we know somebody who want to kill a man on the road. You deal with it for me? Alright, then, listen no more. Lawyers are involved in murders in Ironman. Lawyer offices are involved in Ironman. Lawyer offices are involved in murders in Ironman. And the same lawyer offices, the same lawyer fraternity, is now introducing a war or want the government to introduce draconian measures against people who ride and bite back. Who knows what the motive for Sandra is then killing really is. That's what only need to start dig up more the motives. Why them send this and why them send that. Because then you'd get to the bone. Not just the meat on top. 
lawyer offices are involved in all kind of shady dealings. Patrick Bailey, Jennifer Massad and all these people. It should be the same as if you hear say, somebody, imagine with the ear say, something happened to Jennifer Massad. It should have come out in the news, lawyer killed, okay, ban all bike and ban all car because them kill one lawyer. Not knowing that Jennifer Massad would let these people money and somebody put money upon her head. What is going on in the legal fraternity? Them no one dig up that. Mark David Smadden at the lawyer office. CR. These are not my opinions. I tell you what the man say. The man I tell you say. The man him say. I get this and this way. Okay, Mr. Lawyer. Tell us what the motive is for killing Charlie Piff. Was it random? Was it robbery? Cut short. Gruesome. Murder was foul. Them said the sentence was manifestly excessive. Do you know why that was? Because I want to feel them one day. The same judge them regulated them bail all the time and put them back on the road. Said them have mercy in their heart. Had no mercy. When time them have sentenced people them who kill. Surely pay a few. Extraordinary stuff. I would love it if this case got to go back. I could go some much deeper in time. We'll see who this CR and Mark and you know, who the big man. We, we get money from, from the man in collect money in an envelope. That's the real story here. Me must have passed the bar with you, you know, so this, uh, this is now right down my alleyway. Anyway, be a transport, be open yourself. Yeah, you don't know more life. Ultra squad, see circling. Bless.